Welcome back guys. Boy, have I got a treat for you today. It's going to be not the forklift. What the hell is that? Well, apparently it's a tuk-tuk, a Chinese tuk-tuk. Uh, when it turned up, I was like, what the hell is that? Uh, I have no idea what it is, to be fair. It's, everything is in Chinese on it. So we're going to go over there. We're going to have a look together and see what we can do with it, get it going, do a safety check, even if that applies in China, safety, but uh, we'll see, we'll see what we see. <laughs> So, Chinese tuk tuk. Safety check. Look at those wires just dangling there. I mean, dashboard's there, wires are there. I'm guessing they go to the indicators. They're millimeters away from the suspension. Okay, the Chinese is a bit rusty, but that says something. Just grabbed my son's phone, I've got it on Google Translate. So that translates into auspicious boutique power. Now, looking at this vehicle, I can't see where this boutique power is going to come from. But <laughs> yeah, it's a joke. Uh, it's like a Rolls Royce because the doors open backwards. Look at that. Just like a Rolls Royce. Um, there's sharp edges. Um, let's have a look inside. Well, there's not a lot of floor in there. It's still got the old original plastic on the seats. Let's have a look inside. Well, in terms of safety, I've got one spot weld, two spot welds, three, four, five, Six, I think there's a seventh one here. Seven spot welds holding my roof on. Um, it's um, an unusual place to be. Uh, yeah, we'll find out what that does later. It's my boutique power. So, zero to 40 and then something, and something more. Well, since it's got watt hours on there, uh, I think you've probably guessed it, this isn't run with an internal combustion engine, it's electric. Okay, let's go have a look outside. I bet you were wondering, what is inside this? Okay, so there's the back. I'm just going to change my camera view so we get to see something a bit better. There we go, we can see a bit more now. Well, we've got a jack here to jack the back up. And, as you can see there, it's an electric motor. Seems to be Jack's one, another one over there, and another one here. So this, I'm guessing, is to jack it up to hold it steady because it's got a kitchen in the back. So when you're in there, you don't want this thing wobbling around. If I grab it, I'll shake it. Yeah, it's quite shaky. Okay, got a load of wires here. Let's have a look under the seat. Right, more stuff here. Box of bits. 
Looks like a charger. Looks like an inverter. Uh, by the looks of it, four batteries, probably 48 volt system. Again, a bit of Google Translate might help us with some of this. Seem to have two charges here. Okay, so customers asked me to get it going and do a safety check. Uh, well, I don't think it's going to pass a safety check, but we might get it going. Not too bad at doing electrics, but these sorts of instructions it's not very helpful. Okay, so we've got the inverter, we've got a load of wiring. Looks like this wire is coming from the rear. Three pretty chunky wires, three phase motor. I assume that says motor. <laughs> Uh, this is part of the inverter, so if we go colour for colour, I don't think we can go far wrong. So I'm going to wire the motor up. We're obviously not going to power this up just yet to 100% sure that most of the things that we see are reasonably right. These two, this looks like a live and an earth. Blue looks like it goes to earth. Yellow going to the red is the live, goes through a fuse, fuse to battery. Looks reasonably straightforward. Uh, I'm going to wire up the motor first. Let's get an 8 mil socket. Okay, before I put that to the battery, those three jacks that I showed you underneath, I'm going to use those. I'm going to get the wheels off the ground. Um, so if I throttle forward and it goes backwards, it's just going to be crazy. So um, I just want to make sure that whatever I do, when the wheels spin, nothing moves. Okay, jacks are raised in the back one as well. Wheels are off the ground. So I'm going to connect them battery up and see if we can get those wheels to spin. Okay, here goes nothing. Power on. Okay, I'll see these on. Uh, batteries on. Right, let's turn the key. Oh, we have lights. I'm just going to try the throttle and see if we get anything. Something's definitely happening. Just gonna power it up to see if you can see those wheels turning. Well, they're definitely turning. So that's forward. So I'm guessing if I do this one, it's backwards. Yes, they're spinning backwards. Okay, so it's working. Uh, but I've got no brakes, so without brakes we can't go for a road test. So next, this is where the safety check begins. Okay, let's close this up. Uh, we have been pushing this around. Back brake is appalling. Handbrake is broken. Um, it's just 
and the front brake is doing absolutely nothing. It's just going straight to the handlebars. So before we go anywhere, I've got to sort these brakes out. So at least I've got one of them working. Okay, here's our handbrake cable. And right next to it is our foot brake cable. If you have a look, you can just about see that. It's put on the same bar. There's no backup. So it's foot brake or handbrake. They're exactly the same brake. Normally you have a backup on the car, which is the handbrake. So if your brakes fail, you still have something else to use. Um, these are the jacks that have been welded on. They seem to put some half decent welds on that. But if you look at the back one, see the air gap underneath it? Well, by the looks of that, um, they didn't weld that straight. They were talking about welding. Look at this wheel arch. Boss, do you want me to put weld on all the way around? No. No, welding wire costs money. No, no, just every two inches, please. Okay, so this um, handbrake cable, I need to undo it, pull it out, relace it through the handbrake mechanism and do it back up and I'll adjust the foot brake from there as well and then we'll move forward to the front brake. I'm just going to go for a road test. When I say road test, I mean just outside in the car park. I can't see where I'm going, so I'm just going to just do the wipers. Yeah, uh, yeah, there you go. It's absolutely lovely. Yeah, that. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I can see where I'm going now. Uh, I wish I had some washers, but uh, you can't ask too much, I guess, from the Chinese. Power on. Handbrake is off. Moving, oh my god. Well, I'll deliver some milk, I guess. Alright, is it a good time to try the brakes? Oh my god, look, the doors are away. Well, with the speeds we're doing, we're going to need some breeze in here. Let's get that window open. Right. Oh look, doors open up again. <laughs> We're consuming some kilowatts here. Okay, right. That's enough of that safety check done, I think. Right, close that door. Let's get reverse. See if we can 
get back. Well, doesn't feel like a Tesla. that now <laughs> well guys I hope you enjoyed the video of the electric tuk-tuk from China and the auspicious red wagon what a vehicle oh my god I can't even believe I made it if you enjoyed the video uh, please hit the like button the subscribe button the bell notifications to notify next time I upload a video take care guys